Hello, hello, and welcome back to uh, Eric's Round 7 uh, Olympiad coverage. He is playing White against Andrew Green, or I think it's probably how you pronounce it. And I'm joined by uh, the lovely Iceberger. Hello, hello. I hope we're all doing uh, well tonight, or this morning, for some of yes. us in, the, uh, in uh, North America. So, uh, Chief has answered your question. We have gotten D4. D4. Yay. Wow. Hopefully it's a Queen's Gambit, because that's what he's been playing this tournament. Yeah, you would think so, but we shall see. Yep, we do get Knight F6, so it keeps the options open for an Emso or a King's, uh, King's Indian if we want to see a fighting game. Hopefully. Yeah, yep. Probably C4, it's without a doubt the best move here. Yeah. Then knight C three to bring the knight out before so yeah C four probably be the, uh, the we are a Trimbowski or a London bra yeah and who knows maybe he plays the Moak London you know uh, <laughs> honestly I can't even future of U S chess go oh, yeah. ready we also see how much we know exactly. Thank you. Thank you, a Queen Trap MC, one of your uh, fellow countrymen, an Australian. Very nice. And uh, thank you to Mike Laya as well for the 66. And hello to Germany. Yep, so we did a good C4. Yep, okay. So it's up to Black to uh, show his hand here. You could play so many things. You could play Benoni if you wanted to. You could play Banco. Yeah. Could play more principled with a uh, Nemzo. Yeah. Could also play a King's uh, King's Indian. Or we could just play go these two. Yeah. I think we're also we could get a Grunfeld still. Couple of different options here. Just going through the opening book now, so I can actually see which one is all. Because I know about e six. I've seen g six as well. C five for Benoni. Yeah. D six for something I've never seen. Yeah, that looks interesting. Old, old Indian. Old Indian. Defense, I've so. heard of this yeah. before. You put your bishop on uh, e seven, and you leave these pawns untouched. I don't know too okay. much about it, but I've heard about it. I know uh, Jean Bartholomew has been playing it recently. Yep. And, uh... uh it looks like we've got an E6 here. Okay, yep. That makes sense. Probably going for an Nimzo. Could go into a Nimzo if Eric or... maybe not if trailing. That's the anti Nimzo. Yep, there's the anti Nimzo. And he could, still could go into Queen's Gambit Decline if he wanted to. We shall, uh, we shall see. Yep. Hello to uh, Smearster, Emad, Dr. Questionable, High Five Man. How are you guys doing today? It's, I don't know, I don't know to say morning or night, because it's night for me, but morning for uh, a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Got a good three hours of sleep. Love to see it. Oh, well. Three is better than nothing, I suppose. <laughs> that is true. I got to look on the bright side. Glass half full. Yeah. My flight was only delayed two hours. <laughs> only two. Only two while I was on it. But, uh... 20... Go, I Nicola. guess you could go into a Catalan. Hello, Nicola. wonder if Chief is thinking... If he wants to kind of yeah, show he, his imagine hand. If he, imagine if he went into it, you know, he's been on the receiving end of some losses from the Catalan, and now he could even go with G3 himself and go into it. I'd be very happy if he went to a Catalan. Catalans are fun. Yeah. They're definitely a lot uh, different than Nimzo positions, Queen's Game Decline positions. Hello, Hello. Blonde. So, uh, 
Because we might have some new people here. Do you want to let them know? I, is it still on the table? I, I think you know what I'm hinting at. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think if we can if we can crowdfund 100 subs over the uh, the course of the game, I will uh, be doing a shoey. You heard it so, here first. <laughs> uh, we've been trying to get, I've been trying to get him to do a shoey for uh, a couple weeks now. It feels like just every time. I know uh, we have been trying. Yes. Uh, hopefully today can be the day we get a nice win over Mister Andrew, and uh, a nice shoey for the boys. Be very ideal. We also do have a Tari and Jordan's game to check in on. And, uh, well, the game gets exciting. And Eric is in the think tank on move two, slash, there's a DG, there's a board error. I might, uh, quickly shop around to some games that have more. Lag, yeah. Oh, is this? Yay, Berlin. Low speed. Won't be checking this game out much longer. <laughs> This looks fun. This, oh, it's a Paracon that he took on C5 then. Okay. This is Tari. I did see um, some interesting Tari's news game. earlier with the uh, the American and Armenian uh, game. Uh, Levon Aronian is uh, sitting this one out, not playing. That makes sense. You know, it's his home nation. He's championed so many of them to victory. I, I, if I, like, change to England, I wouldn't play against the U.S. Yeah. Think same, like, you know, if you somehow played for New Zealand, would you want to play against Australia? <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> Especially if you're, like, one, you're better than the entire team. Mmm. Love is, love is scary. That's a man whose prep I would not want to be on the other side of. Yeah. So I do I do think we have a board error. That or he's thinking about going, oh, knight f3. So the anti nemzo anti. I know yes. nothing about this. I've been, I've been on the, I've never, like, I've copped it a fair bit in Blitz, but I've uh, never really uh, analyzed those games and seen how I'm supposed to play the opening out. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel that. I'm, uh... Obviously, you don't want to give the check, because that helps White develop. Yeah. But, uh... I don't know. I feel like we still could transpose into a lot of things. I assume it's a similar kind of game plan to the... Catalan. Yeah, well, D5 goes this. into a, a Queen's Gambit declined. Yes. Um... Where you just kind of have, uh... The knight already on. F3. Yeah. You still could These play... These would go into a Queen's Indian. You still could play G3 here, because if you take... It's like, well, I'm very happy to have this diagonal, and I can win this mm. pawn back. There's some theory here, which we've seen. <laughs> if you uh, remember oh, yeah. from Eric's point of view, he played this yep. here. I think Geary played either Queen C2 or check. Don't exactly remember. Been, uh, it's been pretty early. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Ooh, Shall B6. So a Queen's Indian. Interesting. Oh, we did get it. Okay. This is uh, some new areas for me, that's for sure. It's the same camera I've uh, been using, Noir, so... Uh, I don't know, maybe I dropped it on the flight. This is definitely a new area for me, too. I don't think I've ever uh, come across it. Yes, it's a rare opening. I do think G3 makes the most logical sense to counteract the long bishop. Yeah. Exactly. I'm back, I'm back to the future set. G3 is uh, also the most common move in the opening book. Okay, that's understandable. I mean, looking at the next, uh, the next most common one, A3 seems like a move that I, I wouldn't play. That's for sure. I wouldn't think. Hmm. 
I guess it's like a three here. Stop I mean, it stops bishop e4 check. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't just go knight here, though. Yeah. It's these types of positions that it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to play really positionally in this line. Yeah. Because I guess if you then go bishop b7, can I still get in g3? Might be able to. So I don't really mind that. Doubling of the We pawns. do get g3 on the, uh, the board. That's, this is going to be exciting. Some yeah. long bishops. Some uh, edging tension. Oh, not the GM edging again. <laughs> Come on, you don't they love it? They always keep us waiting so long. I so. know, but they, they just edge for so long. It's so impressive. Mm. Well, uh, Emad, the go live notification is still uh, Amon's games. Because I don't have the power to change that. <laughs> if I did, I would. Okay, so this move looks a little silly, but it's pretty common, actually. You're putting pressure on this pawn. Yeah. Okay. And you are just going to go back to uh, b7 at some point. Got a Kamsky plays this line. Yep. Okay. You maybe induce b3, I don't exactly know that. Yeah, so you induce b3 and claim that you don't want your bishop on the square. Maybe you'd rather have it here or here pinning. Yep. It's one of those weird move order things. Yeah, so it's one of those uh, GM things they, they like to do. Yep. I will say, I feel like if you know you're going to go into this, Eric might have some prep here. That's assuming our boy prepped. Yep. It's uh that's a hard assumption. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I mean I know he's been doing some prep. I don't know if he prepped for this round, you know what I mean? Yeah, yep. It's like okay, you know, I got my big games, you know, my niches, so I'm gonna need to study like twenty moves of theory and then be prepared for rook takes C six. Mm. Which is always funny. Anish, you, uh, you're too good. Bloody Anish, eh? And at least he's a fellow bra. You know, we got a bra on the top ten. We have two bras because of uh, Ali Reza as well. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now you can give this check, which is, looks very annoying. And if I go here, you're going to go bishop back and claim that my bishop is silly. Three yeah. as well, Fabby. Got a lot of top ten bras. There's a few a few around um out there. And Bishop G two. Okay, so I went pretty deep into this line, but this is some moves that Eric would play and go, is this theory? And the answer is yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. So b3, kind of weakening the c, not kind of, but weakening the c3 square so you can no longer block with your knight. And then once you block with the bishop, the bishop goes back. You claim that it's better than this one. Go yeah. GMs. <laughs> they, uh, they play a different game than you and I sometimes. Oh yeah, it's so much different for them. It seems a bit more positional just like from the start. Yeah, definitely. I think they they always uh, even just minute differences can really impact it so heavily. Yeah, like These, including uh, bishop a six versus just going to bishop b seven. Because I yeah. I saw uh, g six and just assumed, oh yeah, you're going to bishop b seven. Yeah, that's what I would have thought. I wouldn't I wouldn't have thought about a bishop a six for sure. Yeah, and I know this line exists. I just like, I think it's silly, but. I'll listen to uh, the GMs. Yeah. That's understandable enough. I can see the point, at least here, that you're going to give the check and you want them to block with the bishop. Yeah. Same time. It's like you went here, and you're going to go back soon. Amon likes this. Uh... He goes b7 first, then he goes queen c8. And he trades off the queens with uh, going bishop here. Because normally they have uh, doubled up. Yeah, okay. Yep. 
Hello to DK Surf or DKA Surf. I uh, hello, buddy. We have a we have a fun position. Started off as a D four knight f six C four, and then after uh, E six we got an anti nimzo. Yeah, we're hoping Sheep's gonna rebound, and then G three, and then we kind of expected uh, we didn't expect that move. Kind of expected Bishop B seven, but he shunned he shocked us, and he's gone Bishop A six, which I think is a sideline. No, it's the main line. Okay. But bishop a6 and bishop b7 are both very, uh, very commonly played. Both yeah. have 10,000 games in the Masters. <sighs> There's also this option, queen a4. And apparently you just go back to bishop b7. Ah, <laughs> uh, theory. You're fun. So we gotta move. Hi. Queen c2. Same thing, you just go back to bishop b7. I will say, this seems to... So when I was picking what openings I was going to choose, I looked at how a lot of them scored based on... Like, based on a lot of games. You know, like the mass sample. Like, I went to the chess.com and went, okay, how does this opening score? And you know how you get those black scores, 26, draw 45, and then blank? This is the best scoring one, percentage-wise. Okay, yep. <laughs> I know, I miss, Hello, I miss it. Go, buddy J-Bell. This is the position we have on the board. If we see a Catalan, I'll be slightly less uh, sad we got D4. Well, that's uh, that's good to know, you Matt. I've only had him play uh, e4 against me. <laughs> <laughs> he must consider you a uh, threat. Oh, of course. <laughs> Do you? Uh, has he ever played? Ooh, bishop b4. Is that? That was the fifth option, or the sorry, the third option. And um, this, I think we're in for a fighting game. Yeah, definitely. Because if you block with a knight here, you lose this pawn. That's pretty clear. So you have to either go here or here with the bishop. So Eric has a choice. Both are playable. I um, I would guess you'd probably want to go here because you don't want to pin yourself. So you're going to ask what the bishop's going to be doing. And they're probably going to go here. And we can go an instant e4 here. Fully take that the center. center. Looks very nice. Yeah, can fully. Let's stop. Do we stop e5? I don't know. If you play d5 here. Oh, actually, no, we don't stop d5. It's the most common move. Oh, yeah, we have to take. Uh... Do I take the other way? No, we take it like this. I'm in the opening book for anyone wondering, so we're still in some theory. Then you take back. And you push. That makes sense. Then you attack the knight. Ask it what it's doing. And... Okay, yeah. So B take C3 in this position. How do you know it's not the bishop? Because <laughs> I have no idea. I just assumed it was the pawn. Wait, why wouldn't you? Yeah, okay. It's not the bishop, though. You know, you know what I mean. But B takes C three. But how do you know? I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> Interesting. That's very. That's a. Uh, maybe some of the J Bell. How would you know? This is theory. I'm just following like the most common move in the opening tree. Yes, this is every line. Black is scoring not well after this. Uh, to like forty three, forty, like high, uh, high percentage. So maybe uh, Mister Granite, I think. 
I don't know. How do you how do you think you pronounce G R E E T? G R. I'll yes. just say greet. It's probably not greet, but so we have gotten all this. Yeah, so we four for the boys. Take the center. It's not GG, but uh, I mean, you guys can see the bar. We have a a nice positional advantage as white. Oh yeah. If you want the honest truth. We're scoring 50%, drawing 28, and losing 20. So we're kind of happy. At least I think Numbers so. Numbers in our favor. Hello, Mount Prime. Thank you for the bits. How you doing, buddy? Hello to a boss maniac, Sin Simo, and uh, Magnetite. Bzz. Yeah, you might as well just design. I do agree. No, there's a lot of chess <laughs> to be played. Uh, both players can uh, make inaccuracies as the game always go goes on. We are only human. But I uh, I do have to think that if Eric knows this line, D4 seems... Uh, sorry, E4. One seems natural. Two, we're taking the center. And we'll move our king out soon. We got bishop G2 first. Okay. It's understandable, I guess, the whole point of uh, playing G3 to uh, get it nice and ready. That is true. <laughs> well, uh, not next game. Next game, at least I will have slept in my own bed. So I don't know the differences why you don't play E4 here. But it's not played as much. Seems like it's just a transposition. I guess it leaves castle already, so we should castle too. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Striking back in the center. I was just going by uh, the opening tree, but uh, that's theory. Real men don't play theory. And Chief's a real man. <laughs> Play those novelties early. Yes, yes. Take uh, take the youngins out of prep. Because I have to assume that... Uh, fucking... I'm just going with Andrew. Andrew is uh, probably a young lad. He's playing the top board as uh, an IN. He's probably got a lot of potential. Oh. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's do some research on our buddy Andrew. Oh, he's only played two games. This is his first... Black game, he played a 1700. <laughs> now he's playing Eric. <laughs> wow, well, bit of a step up. <laughs> that was a step up indeed. Just uh, 900 points. He's actually got the, he's got the age on, Eric. He's uh, 43, if my maths is correct. Born in 1979. Interesting. Well, um... Little rejoice dance in chat. <laughs> I do, um, I'm liking our chances more and more. I hear about this guy, you know. <laughs> he's, he's just a, he's just a great guy. He's played two games, one of which was versus someone under 2k. Hello, fish on fish. How you doing, buddy? You picked a good one. Uh, we just we did some research on uh, buddy Andrew. This is his second game, All Olympiad, and Eric is his highest rated opponent by 900 points. We got we gotta be uh, we gotta be feeling it, you know, rubbing our hands. Oh, yeah. At least it's somewhat entertaining. I'll go through the uh, moves for people just joining us. We will always have a dot on uh, the F3 night. I don't know why, but we just will. And we are all caught up to the current position. Hello, Booby Fisher.
I was just looking on this chess results website, and it seems like he has played a couple more games, but he's um, mm. just going around here. They had some, maybe they had like a buy against uh, Rwanda round one. Round two, he lost to a Turkish grandmaster. Okay, okay. So chess.com is lying to us. Yeah, That's... round three. That seems he, to happen. Uh, got a win against a FM from Malawi. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Then he lost to an Argentinian uh, GM. Then didn't play against Sudan last round. Um, oh yeah, he didn't play against Sudan. Then he played against the Sri Lankan uh, 1700, which he won. And now he's playing Eric. Ooh, we have Boss Maniac, who's actually played uh, Andrew. G G oh, wow. Grini and fucking butchering his name. I'm just going to say Greet. I'm also going to say Greet. Nice to greet you. <laughs> yeah, nice to greet you. He, uh, he took a draw off him. Oh, very nice. Go, buddy. <laughs> very solid. Yes. Well, I'm going to refresh the board. Maybe we have some moves that haven't loaded in. Nope. Maybe uh, you want to check on the Berlin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Satari has, or Forrest has kept the game alive, I think. I don't know. I see a Berlin and I kind of just tap out. Huh? Is this the open Berlin? Or no, he's played a gambit within the Berlin. I don't know what's going on. They're already in a pretty big sideline. Yeah, it's interesting. He's played the gambit, but it must have been a quicker turnaround on getting the material back. Yes. These positions have been analyzed to death, I feel like. So it's interesting if this is actually a new game. Within, like, 13 moves. Yeah, po in Poggers, indeed. This is, uh... Forrest is white. Frisnet and Laurent as black. And that was my best uh, French accent. <laughs> so we gambited the e5 pawn. So he... e4 pawn. So we could have won back the e5 pawn at a lot of time. And then black gambited it right back. <laughs> okay. This must be some theory. Yeah, it's a Berlin. Tatari's game. Tatari is black. He's played. Yay. I got a, a caro. <laughs> we just want E5, E4, please. Big oof. Yeah, at least this is uh, dynamic. We have some. Tari has some pressure on uh, E5. We uh, Our knights are kind of placed again to attack it. Don't know exactly where a light squared bishop is gonna go because we kind of just have a French. Maybe we'll try to trade it at some point. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we go f6 to take with the queen to put some pressure on this pawn. I'm liking that. Maybe shit. something I would do. I don't know how often the GMs really open the f file in a in their games, but definitely I I like the idea personally. Yes. Well, the nice part of having this. Kind of shitty bishop is this pawn even though it has some pressure from the e pawn e uh e rook once we break here if we see a take it one it's not takeable right away but we can start to push i guess ah there's things that there's an issue with this when we kicked off the file although queen f7 why do i don't want to help him develop a tempo so maybe h6 and then H6, F6 seems really bad, though. Yeah. We're so hanging this night if we do that. <laughs> so let's not do that. <laughs> oh, it was also White's turn. Nice, nice. Uh, it was possible that when I refreshed, it just took out this move. Ah, uh, okay. Let's, uh... Let's go back to Buddy Eric. C6. Played... By uh, Greet. 
Interesting. So I guess... I don't know, are you ever going to go bishop back to b7? You're staring at a pawn. You're staring at a pawn here as well. This is an interesting piece. <laughs> yeah, the bishop does. Yes. Go. I've got a whole lot of options, really. I feel like we can still play uh, e5 if we want it. We um, might be overextending there because we have both of these out before our knights are out. I don't know. I kind of just want to slow play this with like b3. Knight c3, castles, play for e4 maybe. I like Eric's position. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of promise with it, I reckon, for sure. We're getting all the uh, inside scoop from Boss Maniac. Our board three Ooh. is playing uh, a club made of his. Hamish Olsen. We can pull that up as well. And thank you to, uh... You, you want to take this one? I'll take Gerst. Thank you, hey. buddy. For the, uh, 29 months. With Prime. Any more Primers in chat? Exclamation point oh, Prime. Check. And, uh, subscribe free as well. Oh, another Rui yeah. Lopez. At least it was a Morky defense. This would be more exciting. C3 to put the bishop back. We've all seen this uh, a million times. Yeah. So Re Lopez, you put the knights back. You want to go to E3. The GM knight maneuvers. Slow mm -hmm. positional game. You're going to trade off the bishops. Or go back to C1. You're going to play a move that's like, oh, you know, that doesn't make much sense at first. And you really think about it and you're like, oh. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I don't think we're going to see bishop c1 here. I don't think we're going to see a trade, but I don't think we're going to see bishop c1. Maybe d2. Yeah, probably d2. d2 looks like a good square. I just want to keep this uh, active pressure. Because, I mean, it can go there. Yeah. Probably continue, maybe knight g3 if it goes, to, if the bishop goes to h4. Because then I want um, some knight f5 ideas hitting the bishop again. Yep. Okay. Take. I've got castles in an Eric's game, by the way. Okay, okay. So I assume since you've played c6 and d6 and d yeah e6 you're gonna play d5 oh yeah kind of free really up this bishop up put some pressure on it b3 makes the most makes some sense you know defend it defend it mm -hmm. i uh don't much know what else i'm gonna do though <laughs> Castles, I feel like this is going to be such a slow game. There's going to be a lot of uh, maneuvering. Uh, a lot of positional chess, our favorite. I'm, I'm excited oh, to see I do love it. positional chess. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, Queen C2 is the new meta. Chief is up to date in all the tropical lines in the Catalan. I believe this is what a uh, kind of what Gear he played Hold on. a couple days ago at this point. Yeah, something similar, I think. Yeah, Eric didn't play the exact way as Black, but uh, same sort of approach. Hopefully, uh, Buddy Tari can get a win. Out of uh, the Berlin. Fingers crossed. Oh no, Tari wasn't playing the Berlin. That was uh, Jordan. Ah, uh, okay. 
Chari has uh, the Karo. I like his position. He'll play some slow, uh, improving moves over time. Go, Tari. He's only 11. It's pretty impressive. Jeez, it's a big trip for him as well. Oh, yeah. Definitely a great learning opportunity, being able to see, like, Magnus Carlsen in person as well. Yep. I'd be fanboying out. <laughs> Same. I'm looking for ways to spice this game up, but I feel like you have to... I don't know, it's either d5 or castle, so they're two most logical moves. And it's the Scottish Tony. How have you been doing this week? Uh, we had a rest day. Did you do anything fun? No, nothing in particular. I was just chilled out. Slept. Just relaxed uh, last night, really. Nothing too special. I uh, know that feeling of relaxing. I was definitely uh, glad to not have to wake up last night. Yeah. You got anything planned while we're uh, we're waiting for the game? Anything fun? Um. Oh, well, I mean, like obviously, I won't be here uh, tomorrow or Sunday. I'll be. On a trip to Adelaide to watch some footy. That seems like fun. Yeah, live, live sports are always good. Heading with the partner and some friends, so... Good to uh, get out. Hopefully my team can get a win. Hopefully, yes. I'm, uh, I'm also going to some quote-unquote live sports, but it's my own team's practice, so... Okay. We're, we're the winners. That's what that means. <laughs> Yes, regardless. Yep. Gotta love uh, Instagram ads. I see a lot of them, and most of them I just say yes to at this point. <laughs> I mean, I got an ad for, like, come watch my uh, the Jets play, which is my NFL team. Like, yep. at their stadium, like, practicing for free. It's like, oh, yeah. well, I live 30 minutes away. I'm not doing anything. And I'd just be on Twitch if not, so why not? That yeah, exactly. Fun. Good, good uh, opportunity to get out and about. Yep. And uh, for those asking, yes, this is theory. Eric might be asking himself that, but uh, we are uh, we're looking forward to it. Oh yeah. Maneuver his good way around. Experience. Oh yes, we get to learn theory while he uh, learns it as well. <laughs> <laughs> on the fly yes we are having a bit of a think from buddy uh, great maybe he's deciding between d5 and castles yeah cause if you don't move something on this side of the board okay so we did get castles but for blacks this side of the board he kind of has to make something happen because this bishop will have some scope after d5 you take with the c pawn you'll get a square for your knight but at the moment this knight has no squares and this bishop is biting into a, a pawn yeah yeah that's really interesting that india is playing itself today yeah, I know. I mean, I was actually curious if that was even possible <laughs> for them to be matched up or not, but... It is, apparently. Okay. Yeah, you, you, we've definitely been lied to, uh, DK. The Catalan yep. is a very rich uh, position. Nope, B3 still works. One, defend the pawn. They can still just play D5. We don't want to take them because the world help fix their structure. We have we're happy if they take us because this bishop still looks kind of silly. I guess the knight now has the d7 square, which we'll probably go to if we leave the tension here for a while. 
Yeah. But our knight can... I don't really know where our knight wants to go. Because he can't get to c3 without hanging a pawn. After d5, I mean. Yeah, yep. And knight a3. There wasn't a bishop here would look pretty good. <laughs> Protect <laughs> Finally, his pawn. Yeah. Get ready to take. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we throw in... Bishop f4. It seems to mean some knight h5 ideas to hit the bishop. And if we go up, maybe you consider f65. You'd have to build it up, of course. Yeah. What about knight e5? Tyler reckons. First time chatter as well. Welcome in. Hello, buddy. Knight e5 is definitely a common move you see in the Catalan. I'm hoping that if they take here, you got a lot of pressure on... Uh, this diagonal. But, um... Yeah, I like it here. It's not the most common move, but... Our buddy Eric doesn't know that. <laughs> Actually, maybe he does. What do you think? You think this is his prep? Oh, I don't know if he would have prepped for it. He could definitely, uh... I think he definitely would consider this move. Practically. Like he'd think about it, but I don't know if he would have exactly prepped. It is definitely a common like common theme in the Catalan. The plan and I don't die five. <laughs> Didn't you just go against uh, Ubitsia? I feel like you said yeah. No, not not since he's typed it, that's for sure. Okay, okay. Well uh, I'm uh, I'm I'll... trying not to say it. I'm... I'll hold you to more, it. Uh, I'll hold you to it if I can. Conscious of what I say. Ah, uh, the hell with that. If you want to say yeah, you can. Nah, 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 nah. Are you bits here? Do we have a bet on this? You know, we gotta have some incentive for him not to say yeah for an <laughs> hour. You know, we can start exactly. a scam in the morning. Well, you bits here. I'm gonna work as a. Uh, the go between it is a common theme I'm not gonna we have to have a scam on this not have my buddy persecuted for nothing i, I would say so beats yeah that it's uh that it's a common theme yeah knight here also defends this pawn and if you ever do go d5 i mean unless you play f6 we have a very nice outpost I don't know, the Catalan positions are always tricky, but they're fun. Definitely. Definitely very tricky. Knight e5, assuming d5, and then queen a4. We're obviously building up a lot of pressure on this, but, uh... Bishop a seven. Mm, if I just take this pawn and don't. Not that too. If you take here, it's not as I guess it's a C pawn, but I'll get some development after with rook C eight. Oh, you take here. There might be. Another check. Yes, some images, tanks. And if you take this one, oh, what am I saying? There's another pawn hanging. I realized after that, <laughs> I remembered it about this, so we can't like push or take. But then I forgot. There, it's like, oh wait, this bishop is still on this diagonal. an annoying bishop there on a6 with that uh, f rook just realized e5 is annoying 
that's probably why. Because I do agree that taking looks good. Because then you're hitting this. Another pawn. Don't see anything wrong with this, yeah. A lot of potholes to fall into in this opening. A lot of traps. Certain sequences like that. Definitely a lot of traps you wouldn't want. Mm hmm. Do some puzzle racing beforehand. Just in you did? Yeah, I, I did. Been uh, oh, okay. tactics warmed up. So I was like, eh, I don't really want to take with that pawn. I have this fork as well. And it seems like we're trying to force it, Tyler. I mean, maybe it gets played and Chief has calculated it fully, but I don't know. I feel like we can hold on knight e5, brace, and then get it a bit later. You've been playing much uh, recently. Played a couple of rapid games today. They were, they were a little bit uh, infuriating, but the wins that yeah. I got were the wins I got were very satisfying. But the losses were definitely preventable with a bit more uh, a bit more fine tuning. On yeah, the, but... uh, technique and not hanging stuff. Yep, I know what as you well mean. As, as well as think using more time. I, I think I've been so accustomed to blitz that. When I go into a rapid game, I notice that my opponent and I had both played like 20 moves and it had only been two minutes. Yeah. Like max. So it's definitely uh, something to work on in terms of using the time when you have it. I was playing a, a buddy in a rapid game and we were both playing a couple moves uh, really quickly. Oh, we got Rook C1. Interesting. Putting up some pressure on this. Not pressure, but defending it, I mean. And mm -hmm. uh, extraying this, always. But, um... I'll finish my story quickly. Oh, I've lost my train of thought. I don't remember what I was talking about at all, so we can just move on. <sighs> Rapid game. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Fish and Fish. No, it was a, a 2k leash us player. We played like nine moves quickly, and I was like, okay, I've had enough of this. I then sacked a bishop on f7, got a double check on e5, and it was just carnage from there. Oh. Yeah, and those are the nice ones. And then there's other ones where you hang your queen, and you're surrounded by people in an airport, and if you weren't, you'd be breaking something. <laughs> It was funny, though. I checked after with my phone engine, to be fair. Just, like, going through the games, analyzing, make sure I didn't miss anything. Because I'm lazy in an airport as well. And it was like, fair enough. oh, yeah, by the way, you should sack your queen here. <laughs> it was like, oh, I thought I just hung it. Uh, I played the top move by accident. But uh, we take those, you know, it's accidental top moves. <laughs> queen sex. It was Go just... accidental uh, queen sex. I got two pieces for it by the, at the end of the day, so. Very solid. Yes, it was either that or lose a piece, so. But Rook C1, very understandable move. Now it also gets rid of that X-ray um, on where that bishop was lining up on E2 in case C4 was, was not there, so now... I don't know, maybe E4 could be a consideration for Eric at some point. Yep, stepping out of the pen. I, uh... It doesn't seem a little complicated, but I think the idea is really to attack on the queen side. And he wants to bring his rooks to the file to do so. Definitely. If I'm black here... I think I continue with my d5 plan. And then fight back on this file. Definitely seems like a very good move to play. 
I would agree with that as well. That's been my plan for the entire game. I'm just wondering if you would maybe change it on Rook C1. At least my plan for the last couple moves, it seems. Now with this all set up. See what the opening tree is. Nope, there's no games in this we position. We did get it. We did get d5, and we are officially kind of out of theory. Yes. This is no longer theory. So uh, no more looking up and asking ourselves, is this theory? <laughs> So I still think our, our previous options that we were talking about were valid. Could go with B3, could go with Knight E5. Yeah. Eric played something pretty similar before with Black. I do think we're going to get a B3 because we don't want to lose the E2 pawn. Because if we take, uh, we don't lose it like right away, but it, it's under pressure. It's weak. And um, the bar said maybe there's a better option. Bar is tripping. Not listen to it. Then we defend the bomb or something like bishop f4 maybe. Poking some uh, ideas with the bishop pairs. Bishop pair. Mm -hmm. It's not plural. We only got one of those, unfortunately. We haven't promoted a pawn yet. <laughs> it's always time. Always time. I would... Uh, well, I want to see a clip where it's like, um, on the short channel, where it's like, you thought one bishop pair was good, what about five of them? <laughs> and then just throw them out all over their pawns. Of Definitely, course, uh, something Aman would do, I feel. Yeah, Paul, he's, uh, one person's not resigning against him. You're like, I'm not trapped mm. in here with you, you're trapped in here with me. Hmm. Because that's when he has the most fun. I think he said that on stream. It's like, uh, he enjoys those positions. <laughs> you know, and it's just like a king versus infinite amount of pieces, and you can just, like, pre-move everything. Then he'll pre-move mm -hmm. his king all over the board. Do some funny mates. Get the king maiden for the boys. Four arrows that don't make much sense if you don't listen to our conversation. <laughs> so Tyler, what would happen then? Okay, so you've drawn. I was going to say, ask Tyler. He wants bishop. I'm guessing he means f4. But I was wondering, yeah. after b3, what Black's move would be. Hmm. That is a good idea. Like, I could see the idea of uh, the bishop move. Obviously, it does allow the queen to defend e2, but I don't know if we necessarily want our, our pawn to stay there. We might want to... What about for black, though? Yeah, I'm trying to think after b3. What... I mean, you could what always you play would... something safe, like a rook e8. But it's getting to be a little... Tough to play. Knight b7 doesn't have many squares. Could push another pawn to c5, I guess. Oh, not that, not that GM edging again. All of the tension, yes. What do you think I've Hello, slept? Hello, Neil. Hello, buddy. Right. I, uh... I got it in there. Got the shout out to Buddy before he shouted out himself. Go Buddy Neil, a previous intern, will uh, be joining us tomorrow for commentary. I'm very excited. Go oh, yep. Andy. Okay, so now we have gotten uh, Bishop F4. Did... 
Continuation, you Eric decided oh. to take. Yep, take, take, and bishop f4, depending upon. Okay, we have pressure on the c file. We have an active bishop. Our knight can come into e5. I like this. Maybe our knight goes on a journey. I don't know. Uh, our knight's got a lot of options. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Eric is keen for it. He always uh, enjoys a, a knight rerouting. Yeah. Seems he's also keen for a slow positional game. But you will not right away. You gotta, you gotta plan your reroutes. You know, you have to develop your pieces at some point. But I was also kind of expecting e three because I don't know if you want to go here or not. And e three is pretty flexible. Yeah, it does open a lot. I'm just wondering about our dark squared bishop in that uh, sense. Yeah, so if e three, we have to be carried about, be worried about like g four or g five. I mean. We would always, and I'm not saying we want to do this, but we could go to, like, forward as well. Could mm -hmm. go here and get pinned. Actually, yeah, that's true with the open file. Yeah, getting pinned isn't the best idea. E4 uh, here, yes that's a free the first pawn. question, Elephante, and no to the second. <laughs> <laughs> We'll build it up, though. We'll definitely build it up the position. Oh, yeah. If uh, you want to check into Tari or Ari's game... Tari or Ari, yes. Good job, me. Uh, Tari or Jordan's game, just let me know. Yeah, no stress. I'm pretty flexible in that regard. Hello, Hunter Hunter. Let's uh, check in on Buddy Tari's Kara. Interesting. So we got bishop back, putting pressure on the e5 pawn. We got bishop takes, knight to relief some pressure. We got f takes to open up the f file. I like it. If we take, I'm going to take with my uh, awful bishop. I don't know, maybe I'll take with my pawn. I think I'll take with my pawn if you take. Get a nice little center mass. Bishop supporting it. Get some looming pressure out here. Mm -hmm. Well, then maybe. Oh, yeah, Elephante. And then we'll go to Buddy Jordan's game. That's also true, Tyler. Activate the bishop on the diagonal. But you're still staring at a pawn, so you have to work against that. Let's see. So we left off here. <laughs> Very cute maneuver. GMs nowadays, you know, they'll tell you, don't move pe your, you know, one piece more than two times in the opening. Also GMs. Yeah, I'm going to move my bishop four times in a row. And then we watched a game the other day where they moved their knight like five times. Yeah, I was a little surprised that was actually old theory. Yep, yeah, they've studied the rules so they can break them. And, uh... We'll do a bit of checking in. I don't exactly... We'll see if Simsokin's playing today. I remember... Uh, actually... Can't check yet. But I remember... Is it Car... Caruvian? I don't know how to pronounce his name. Is also playing. Let's just see. Let's just see. So we did get the Morphe defense. Take the bishop back. Give c3 a square for the bishop. Black is uh, taking space on the queen side. We're rerouting pieces over to the king side. We did take the bishop, so that's where we left off. Expanding with d4 in the center. Take, 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 take. And now we have some... I don't know. Seems pretty drosh. But, you know, we'll work in the end game. Maybe. Yeah, I think so. You, uh, you unfortunately failed, buddy, Elefante. Or, no, Ubitsia. It was Ubitsia. Ah, stuff him. <laughs> a solid effort, I felt like, so. It was a solid effort, indeed. 
I think Night at Five hung upon Tyler, because I was looking at it too. I don't exactly remember though. I uh, might need to turn on my AC. On my in long sleeves, and it's. Well, it's warming up. It's already 74. We did get rookie one. Okay. Oh, this is a different game. We already had a rookie one. I will leave it on Chiefs game. I'll be right back. I'm just going to change my AC temperature. I was stressed. Hello to the chat. I'm surprised we didn't. Sorry, I'm surprised we didn't get a. It's getting hot in here. Joke from uh, Elefante. Oh, I'm surprised. I was waiting for it. It's getting hot in here. Do some lines. Yep, exactly, audience girl. I like Eric's, Eric's position. It's going to be a slow and nice build. I also like that the uh, eval bar is broken. Now um, I actually just went to turn on my uh, AC. I'll fix Eric it. Kurtz would be uh, loving that right now. Yes, he would. <laughs> and it's back. Sag. <laughs> Maybe just bishop b7. You know, I want to get my knight out, my rook out, I want to develop. Simple yeah. chess, you know. Hello, assist it all. Thank you for the tier three for uh, twenty six months. Eric nice. is uh, playing OTB. We're currently on his opponent's time. Yep, we are uh, studying some lines. Buddy, I don't mean to be rude, but uh, my bishop is it's Black's turn. Just go back it. Take me. It's good. This isn't a king. It's not check. But, uh... To be fair, I've hung a queen while commentating, so I shouldn't, uh... Can't bully the chat. You can do it, though. You haven't, uh... Suggested any bad lines. Well, we can uh, we can show you some lines. Bishop b7, knight d2, yep. knight c6, maybe a5, put some pressure on it. Nah, it's okay, Tyler. We've all been there before. Yes, we know that all too well. Yes. I was 2,700 for a long time. I, uh, not 2700, Jesus. 20. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. Well, because we're commentating. I don't even know why I said 2700. That, like, number shouldn't be in my head at all. <laughs> 20. 1200. I don't know why 2700. Like, <laughs> we haven't commentated a 2700 game in a while. I guess our last one, uh, Buddy Bogdan. He was pretty much 2700. It's twenty six ninety two. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I was uh, uh definitely I was twelve hundred for a good like five months. It was also during the bras sub battle, so I was strategically at twelve hundred, but <laughs> very nice. Oh yeah, some strong, strong lines. B ship F four. Yep, so Bogdan. I was just thinking of Bogdan, you know. 
Okay. <laughs> no, but uh, a bit of a brain slip. Maybe I was looking at Sam Shanklin. Cause, I don't know. I'm trying to think about anything else. Just because his name's on my screen. It's the fifth board on uh, chess.com. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. So uh, no you're going time. to see some. Uh, sorry, you're going to see some Aussie football. Yeah, yeah. My team, uh, Richmond, is playing tomorrow night. Who are they playing? Uh, Port Adelaide is the uh, the team's name. Are they uh, a good team? How's uh, how's the matchup looking? Richmond's higher up on the ladder, but it's just the other team has a bit of a home ground advantage. I think. Yeah. That the is, difference in the betting odds are coming from. That is definitely a big factor. You know, you got all the fans cheering, shouting obscenities. I can oh, imagine. Yeah, definitely, yeah, Port Adelaide fans, that's for sure. I can imagine you guys get pretty rowdy down in Australia, down under. <laughs> definitely. Can't argue that. We do have some time if you want to explain every single rule of Aussie football. No. Uh, not all the rules would confuse some people. Yeah, so obviously I'm sure. Definitely would um would recommend some people to check it out if they are looking at different sports to watch. Seems very sure. uh if people have absolutely no idea what it is, maybe give them a little little hint then. Because from what I understand it's like you took the NFL, handball and soccer and they all had a baby. Yeah, pretty much, and obviously as well, no pads. Yeah. Mouth guard is a only protection. Yeah, but I should add rugby as well in there. Yeah, full on, full on contact. Yeah, a little specky for the boys. A specky is pretty much where someone will jump on another player's back to uh, to uh, catch the ball and complete a mark. I thought Specky was Australian chain for Spec. <laughs> you no, know, Specky is um. It makes sense if it's, it's not like short. It's short for a spectacular mark. Ah. So that's the abbreviation there. Go Aussie rules. I know uh, you stream a lot of the games in the sauna. Yes, yes, I do. Sorry, it's got someone knocking on my door, so I'll be back in uh, two seconds. No problem. We are, are left with Buddy's fabulous... Uh, I wonder if you guys can see his profile picture. I don't know. So Buddy... Eric is down 30 minutes on time. I don't know how accurate the clocks are. I'm... I don't love that for him. Don't hate it. Really don't love it. Maybe E3... Knight D2... Maybe just knight c3 straight away. Definitely a, uh, a lot of options. What if bishop 2 d6? That is true. It is not his turn. That's also true. He wants to uh, beat the 2400. Get some nice, uh, nice Canadian pairings. Or Canadian points. And feels a little slow. I can also. We've talked about this move a bit earlier, but I can throw it in now. Because you never really want to give up the bishop for the knight. And I'll always have nice control of the center. The only move I was thinking about was bishop b7, going back to uh, proactively step off this. I guess I can always get in this. Maybe I start with uh, knight d7, so if you go here, I take. That's good to know, Bosmaniac. Yeah, what, what, uh, what are the time things looking at? <laughs> I'm sure Aiden will be fine. Buddy will come back. Have some uh, some KFC with him. Say ah oh, sorry mate. The uh, that was a shitty Australian accent. Holy shit. 
Sorry, mate. The uh, the kangaroo got out, got loose. I'm, I'm stopping now, but the kangaroo probably got uh, got loose. <laughs> One hour each. Okay, that's uh, that's good looking. I would assume so. I only joined because of OnlyFans. There's um, because you have to kick to score points, or you can run it across. I think I haven't watched as much of uh, as Aiden has. I will take not too bad. I will take it. My uh, my camera one is obviously my best. But uh, it's not really an accent, is it? I will be able to do Jordan Peterson next time I commentate with Kurtz or see him. <laughs> what else does it, uh, what do you think it means, Elephante? If bishop b7, I don't think h4 is bad. I don't know if I would play it. Seems like, I don't know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, develop, exactly. And, you know, you hear knights before bishops. Eric's bishops, Eric's knights chilling on b1. Gotta move that, buddy. And I think we've kind of said we want to go knight d7 to prevent knight e5 right away. <laughs> go audience girl. <laughs> no, that's, that's funny. And uh, go Jesse Phillips. Yep, yep. The, we're in the uh, the shuffling phase of uh, Boss Maniac. We'll see a lot of moves from Eric that will prepare his position for exactly what he wants to do. Well, yeah, you know, at this level, we uh, we kind of expected that both players would get through uh, the opening and have some fun. We are uh, waiting on Buddy Aiden to rejoin us. He just had someone at the door. Wonder, maybe Black has an idea of 95. You know, we have our own idea of putting a knight here, but they have theirs. I guess then we can... We can go a knight here, and this pawn isn't hanging, because we can take here. And right in this. And if you go here, we'll just take. And once you take, we'll take. Or maybe... No, I want to take the bishop. The one with the knight to come out. Yeah. Thinking maybe you take with the queen to put more pressure on this diagonal, but no. Go, chief. Hello to Zippy. This is the current position. The clocks are kind of wrong. Both players are around a minute. That is true, I only joined because of. That's brutal if that's not why your name is. Yep, the kangaroo, uh, he got Buddy Ice. You should try to play one opening if you really want to improve. That's, that's what I would say. Play one opening, know it well. If you see a new variation, study it. And just keep learning more and more variations of that opening. Eventually, you might have to change it. Like, I played e4, d4 against uh, e5. Now I play f4. Just gonna have to change it. Hello, buddy Zip. Up uh, nice and early or uh, staying out late? It's got a couple options on this. They went out to the Bobby for the Dingo Roast. I may. <laughs> D 
Okay, did Eric's opponent was just under an hour. How did he get more time? <laughs> we did get Bishop uh, D6. I don't believe this evil bar for a second, by the way. <laughs> Let me hit this with a refresh. Thank you, thank you. Yep, I did assume that Zippy. Mm. Wonder if he leaves the bishop here. Let's go here. Or probably let's go back. You did call bishop uh, d6. Hopefully we see. Uh... I don't know. I'm a big fan of knight e5. Just shove the knight in his face. You do have to calculate this though, because I don't exactly know the best way to handle this. I mean, you could go back. Because if you ever take here, I still have this pawn. I can play f4. And if you ever push here, well, I have a monster bishop. And I'm assuming that you've already developed stuff, to be fair. Okay, so Eric has more time. That's good to know. Hopefully we uh, see Buddy Aiden join us soon. We eagerly await his uh, response. Oh yeah. Knight's th Knight c3 habits you can never hate. Protect this pawn as well so you can rotate if you want to. Yeah, Aiden just went to get some milk chat. He'll be back. <laughs> Yeah, I do, um, would trust the feed I'd site over their trust.com, hate to say it. How's everyone joining us on this fine morning, or late night, if you're, uh, staying out late? Let's, uh, see how Buddy Tari's Caro is going. So he did take with the pawn. Interesting. So I did, uh, on night takes, I did think you would take with the pawn and just have a nice pawn center. Ooh, this is interesting. Obviously, his opponent doesn't have a uh, light squared bishop, so we can rebuild working against this. And we have a bishop, so we can control the light squares. Oh, we're all caught up. A lot of think tanks going on. We did get 95. Nice, nice, nice. Very happy to see. It was a quick move, too. We're back. The times are fixed. Eric has an hour to 55 minutes. Give it a refresh. The board is a uh, spiff and span. Apologies about that. Hello, buddy. Just had to chat with the fam, and then I thought I might as well prep some all some out there. So, no problem. I cannot blame you. I. Uh, in about 30 minutes, I might have to do that, too. No stress. <laughs> I was expecting, you know, you're wiping the blood off your face. You just got into a fight with the kangaroo. <laughs> it's definitely possible. But no, I didn't go outside. It's too late for that. It's like past 8 p.m. here already, so... <laughs> we, uh... We're, gonna, we, we're, uh, we're building a nice position. We got knight e5 on the board. We got a, like a beautiful London knight and uh, Catalan. Okay. It's like a very good position. Yep. I'm still concerned what to do with this knight. It looks very interesting how we've moved a couple pieces like twice. You know, bishop here, bishop here. But then it's like these two pieces haven't moved yet. We moved rook, f rook to c1. I'm interested to see how uh, everything shapes up. Yeah, agree. Hmm. I done it? I uh, gave an Australian accent. Chat said it wasn't too bad. Look out! That's what we like to hear. 
Yeah. So we will uh, we will take that. <laughs> yeah, we take those. Time is uh, wrong, by the way. Eric is at an hour, not thirty six minutes. Okay. Jeez. It's a rough. Uh, rough go of it, eh? I'm trying to tell us he has thirty six. I know they're lying to us, just like they're lying to us about Bunny Neat's uh, Greets game. Mm. Buddy uh, E4 is not going to be played because we'll just take with the knight. And we don't want to take with the bishop, and we don't want to play F6. So we'll just feel silly. Yeah. Because then if we go here, here, he'll just straight off his knight and claim he's one upon. And a pawn is a pawn, as Yasser would say. Oh, yeah. Are you part of, uh... Yeah, Knight B1 is tilting me. Are you part of the pawn grabbers united? Oh, 100%. I'm always grabbing them. <laughs> yeah, even if uh, they're spooky. I like mm -hmm. to grab them. You gotta take them. They're given. Yeah, the Knight on B1 is kind of funny. Because if Black ever... I guess the point is if black ever puts a knight in here. Well, first of all, we do want a pawn. So. If black instantly goes in there. But if we go a knight here, after. I don't know why our bishop's on a6 still. I want to go back to bishop e7 so that I can go knight e5, a4, and have it protected. Yeah, yep. Yeah. But as soon as we develop the knight, we can counteract if a knight ever goes here. It does, but like, okay, we play, I guess we can't play e3 because our bishop has some trouble. Well, we don't want to go to a3. Damn sure. Yeah. Definitely not. Maybe bishop? Bishop F3. So then we can go knight D2. <laughs> I mean... Go Mount Prime. Go Mount Prime. Yes. yes. I mean, it's a game plan. I don't know how else I want to move my knight. Can't move it backwards. You know, I wish I could go to D negative 1 then to protect E2. Hmm. We're playing 5D chess with the time travel and uh, the multiverse. <laughs> and the Olympiad. I wonder, are we expecting uh, like 9H5 here from uh, from Black? Maybe. It does ask the question of what the bishop wants to do. And, you know, you can't really go to D2 without having some pressure on this pawn, so. The one square we can go to without hanging your pawn. Looks a little mm -hmm. silly. Then I guess you're gonna develop your knight the only way you can. And I still, I don't. I want my bishop three plan to protect this pawn. <laughs> and we're hitting a knight here, so it is pretty. It's a bit better here because we get a tempo on the knight. Oh, we did get it. Okay, well, bishop e3, although I wonder if there's any any tricks here. Let's see what the bar thinks. If you take this pawn, are there any tricks? No. Not worse, though, which is kind of funny. Mm. Maybe now we develop with tempo, and we fix the issue of the stupid knight. I don't know. I could always go back to a6, though. And what's our knight doing? Eh. Now we can go here and here and shit. Uh, I guess not. Bar doesn't like that one. Damn computer. <laughs> doesn't like our moves. I know. Yeah, I don't like it either. I think this is the much better move. I was just wondering if there's any uh, consideration for this one. 
What would you go? Bishop d2 or bishop b3? Um, what now? Yep. Yeah, I think you gotta go bishop b3 after knight h5. You wanna you wanna see Val? Let's uh, I'll just play a waiting move so Black gets to take it. Or I'll play a better waiting move. Let's see. We go. Nah, I mean, I don't wanna move the queen again. Ah, uh, you wouldn't do that, would you? Mm -hmm. We're we're seeing how bad it is to leave it there. We move the queen. Yeah, no, because knight takes queen takes then the bf six. Yes. Otherwise, it's not just lost. Oh. And this pawn. Okay. So if you take here, take here. After this. Oh, I see. I think anyway. Them dark squares. Anyway, that's an engine line that's never being played. <laughs> that, that's how that's how you know that it's like okay, the eval bar is like okay, I have a win here. Hmm. So you know you look for the puzzle like rush solution. It's like okay, it makes sense. You know the rook has been trapped in the corner. You've been looking at this. I've also been analyzing the position, so I know that this. Diagonal opens up and the rook is hanging in a lot of lines. Yep. That's when uh, you left. I uh, didn't mean it like that. <laughs> when you got up to get food, I was analyzing them. And I saw yeah, yeah. It's worried about my uh, my poor rook. <laughs> So the times aren't really uh, aren't really accurate. Yeah, bit, I went to uh, went to Leicester to look at saying Leicester reckons Eric has fifty six minutes. I I call it that the KK time. Forty nine. Forty nine. Okay, so Andrews is accurate at least. Maybe after we make a move, it'll be accurate. The D yeah. keyboard will update. Thank you to uh, everyone joining us on a bright and early Friday morning. Welcome, Eric, welcome. It's currently around 7. Eric is playing white against Mr. Greet Andrew. Thank you, Emad, with the link to the game. We, uh, we are in the think tank a little bit after night age 5, probably deciding between Bishop... Uh, E3 and bishop d2. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Well, I turned on my AC, but I'm still kind of hot. I, um... I'm gonna be back in another 20 seconds. Sorry that, like, I've taken two breaks. Nah, that's all good. Very short, I promise. I dress like I'm flying. <laughs> Oh, I'm in shorts now. That feels good. Yeah, put in the new cartridge. Just in that time. I, th I think it's fine because I'll vape on stream. I don't care. I was also given the okay. What was given the okay? Oh, I'm just uh, responding to the, the chatters. Ah, uh, yeah. I can do it on stream. Easy access for Aiden. <laughs> we're, we're preparing, you know, Zebra uh, Pepe Pride. Zebra Pepe Pride. <laughs> Yeah, let's go Zippy. Go, buddy Zip. It's uh, better than coffee. <laughs> Maybe not for you. 
more fun now. <laughs> Exactly. I think Eric has probably made his move. And uh, I think the board's updating. We shall see, though. Big old. Let's see if uh, Jordan's game has uh, progressed much. Jordan is white versus Frenette's Laurent. Wesley just played a nasty move. Okay, we can pause everything and go to Wesley's game. I think it was uh, the opposite of a opposite of a nasty one. Maybe not. Let's give it a refresh so we can. Uh... Nope, Barra wants to fuck off. Okay, that's perfect anyway. I don't want it. <laughs> I mean, me. okay. So it takes, con takes. There must be a reason why. So refreshing it turned on lines. This is filthy. <laughs> oh, jeez. You can go off. <laughs> Wesley, you, uh... Wow, okay. You are mean. Rook takes, pawn takes, queen takes f7. <laughs> Power of the bishops. Okay, so you go up. Let's calculate the line. It's gotta be not, yeah. It's gotta be a night check. You go up. Oh, that's a mouse slip. No, wait. Maybe it's not because you get this square. You know, the air, then uh, no takes. You gotta take the night, don't you? Yeah, but then you get to f3, and I don't know if I have a mate here. Yeah, yeah, rook, uh, rook e3. Mate. Oh, yeah, what am I saying? Wow, well, okay. You know what? I, I just initially initially I didn't pay attention to it. Like, wait, what? <laughs> Wesley walked into something, but no. Wesley has got this all figured out. This is nuts. That's filthy. The bait of Wesley, man. Just to bait E5 and just go, oh yeah, I have Rook takes. And if you oh, take yeah. back, Queen takes. Mm -hmm. And it's mate. <laughs> well, you don't mouse slip. OTB. That is... Yeah, disgusting. I wonder if you play bishop uh, here if it's still mate. It's mate in two. Nope, okay. I just wanted to know. <laughs> I wanted to know if it was that perfect and you need every single move to be a check. Which is interesting that you do. Because I don't say anything. need all the forcing moves. Yeah, I wanted a bishop mate to be cute. Maybe Tyler, depending on how much you, how much you spend. Because from 19 to 20, I gained 600 chess.com points. You should also probably... You have to play OTB before you, you do anything else. Holy... Yeah, free content for Levy, indeed. We did get a bishop e3 in Eric's game. Let's fix that. Noise, noise. Whole what a what a fucking move. Oh yeah. Uh, if salty is here, that's gonna be added to uh, the pi the the file for sure. <laughs> for uh, the late nights. Yep. Get the tissues out. Yep. Bishop e3 is ugly, but it was unfortunately kind of necessary to not hang upon. Is that the is that the play? Oh, I'm just I'm not even gonna risk it. You can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get him out of here. 
Can't troll on the Discord, buddy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got the bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, there's no way I mean that name. Not a comment. And first time, yeah, first time chat viewer as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you said a lot of stuff in the Discord that Buddy Ice has had to... Buddy Ice and Sauna Security had to hit him. Oh, yeah, he's been... <laughs> He's come back multiple times too. It's like a, it's like there's an crash and go away. It keeps uh, <laughs> it keeps coming back. You feed them once in these rodents, they never leave. Yeah. Hello to Buddy Chess Dude, and good morning to JC Digital Girl. For people just joining us, I feel like I have to show this the Savage oh, yeah. from uh, Buddy Wesley. We were gifted with this. And everyone's like, oh, Wesley's down a rook? What? If you take the rook, because it's Wesley's so, you know, what does he want? Well, you saw the bar shoot up. Dun, 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 dun. We already uh, analyzed the line, so I can speed through it. Filthy move. The, uh, the clocks are wrong. We are back to Buddy Eric's game. Eric had around 50 minutes, maybe took five for Bishop E3. And uh, he's got a very nice Catalan-esque position. And the bar doesn't want to work. But I've been told to have it on. So I'll refresh every time we switch games. Yeah. I wonder if we ever have any F, uh, F4 ideas. Bolster this knight. If they ever go knight here, maybe then F4 to take the pawn. Although we've already moved our rook off, uh, off the F file. So maybe we don't want to push. I don't know. Our bishops looks kind of, look, look kind of funny. Yeah, pretty interesting. Well, I'm saying in the future, if you've gone here, you go f4. I guess not f6. Yeah. f6 is always on tap, though, even if we don't go f4. Yeah. Buddy, uh, Buddy Ice doing the Lord's work in chat, dealing with the clubs. Oh, you gotta give it to him sometimes. <laughs> someone, someone snuck in. Uh, it's like, I don't know if you saw or not, but like the sauna. Um, I uh, can't open any other Discord but yours while, uh, while we're live. Oh, that's all right. I mean, um, like it was like a few days ago. Like someone uh, snuck yes. in because they'd be gifted a sub and posted a uh, like a uh, posted a very interesting picture of uh, their toilet bowl. So <laughs> had to, <laughs> like they're sneaking in everywhere. We need to uh, take clips. <laughs> Take him out to the shed. Give him a bit of bamboo. Acclimate them to society. Treat them right. Oh yeah. I was uh I was gifted quickly in this channel. I didn't have to uh go through the harshness of being a pleb. <laughs> yep, some good old sauna spankings. Yeah. I learned quite quickly to be uh, to be subscribed and <laughs> They started playing marbles, and uh, that's how my tier three was hooked. I uh, got gifted because of marbles. I was uh, I lost my first uh, oh. first time chatting was uh, for join. <laughs> it was oh, a fun wow. experience, though that's for sure. One thing Bishop uh, E three does, which I've always kind of had in the back of my mind, but I don't think I've said, protects the D four pawn. You know, can't hate that. Hmm. I wonder, Elefante. Well, you've sent so many that it's impossible to really check. Trust me, I would know. I tried to do it once. And Twitch loads all of your messages into your cache. It's not good. Well, how'd you do that, uh, uh, CXL? You're gonna have to give us a story now. And we do have time for it. <laughs> mm. 
but if e6, which has already been played, could you sack here? And then take with the queen. What? I guess if f6 he means, can you go here? No. Just a free knight. Eh, I guess you're hitting this, which is quite annoying. Luckily I have this to defend it. Yeah. Because the knight is undefendable, except for this. Yeah. That's, uh... Fortunately, it doesn't work. We did get f6, though. Fuck. The knight d3, I would, I would think. Yes, and for those wondering, the eval bar is still on the sack. Yeah, so knight d3, aiming at f3, knight g4. Yeah. Or we could start trading some pieces. I doubt we may want some trades, though. Hmm. Yep, 93 played pretty quickly. And Eric's time has has fixed itself. He is up to 51 minutes. No time pressure for our buddy. Now we just wait for the bar. Yes, yes. Evil bar of death. Either tell us we're winning or losing. Yeah, F6 is very interesting. Obviously now E6 is a little bit of uh, time protector, but maybe they're looking to... I don't know when you got to find the right time, but maybe could look to to push e5 at some point. But they yeah. got to push it at a time where the d5 pawn is not uh, not hanging in the process. Yeah, because if you play knight d7, I think there's the concrete issue of this knight. Where is it going? Yeah, that as well. Yeah, you could probably still just take it. Yeah. And wreck the yeah, the pawn structure. Open up the king. Even then, like what, like knight, uh, knight f f four there in that position. Oh yeah, and go right after the pawn. And open yeah, up the threatening queen. that, threatening a fork on e six. Yep, you probably do have to just give up the bishop. Yep. I mean, because if you defend, can you defend both? Ah, uh, you can defend both. This queen move is really annoying. Now, though, we can develop our knights and we have no issues. <laughs> Yay, we can develop. Yeah, exactly. Because that's there. And if you go with the bishop to win a pawn. Yay. <laughs> Knight d3 played. So we have a lot of comfortable time. Yes, good to another game where we're uh, up on the clock. Just needed to go a bit more swimmingly than last time against a. Buddy Bogdan. Yeah. I do, uh... It was really the... The clock pressure was unfortunate, especially after we had the situation where we flagged versus a niche. Eric yep. probably had that in the back of his mind as the clock were going lower. Mm-hmm. So one thing I didn't realize is Buddy Wesley is so... His games versus Armenia, he's playing a 26-34 GM. Yeah, it's an interesting blunder for someone that strong to, uh... I mean, is it, though? You missed rook takes, pawn takes, queen takes f2. And, I mean, like, your king is getting, like, hunted out. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's... I would blunder it. We, um... I remember Amon was playing that Blitz game. Versus a fairly high-rated, I think, Chinese GM. Yep. I mean, you gotta blunder check him, though. Hmm. And maybe you thought it wasn't as brutal as it was. Maybe there's some other, like, uh, lines that you can take three pawns for. Well, Tyler, uh... 
Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> yeah. No, sad. no, no blasphemy of the chief in this chat. I've been hearing he's actually stronger than he was before. He's been doing more prep. He's been studying. I mean, yes, there's yeah. a bit of uh, rust into the first tournament going back in three years, but he'll work it off. And he'll only mm. improve after this. It's not like you forget the lines. Oh, yeah. Chess is a journey. Exactly. One thing I was trying to think about if I can get this core out here, is maybe some uh, we can finagle some knight takes tricks queen recaptures and then bishop takes uh, d5 even if we're not winning uh, the queen because of the pin we'll be hitting a rook yeah definitely would be pretty nice only a problem with going here right away is there's a lot of trades. So maybe yeah. Bishop F3. They have to really solve the problem of their knight. I guess D play F5? Go Eviscerated. How you doing, buddy? Hello, buddy. I'm worried that this knight... Well, I'm hoping that this knight becomes an issue for black. But I don't really see... I mean... I want to give it a square, but... <laughs> what, do you go g6? To give it this square? No, bar hates that even more. Uh, I guess you probably just defend it, what am I saying? So if you go here, for example, and I go... Here, probably just defend like this. Or not. Oh, yeah. Takes, takes, win here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Well, this is just winning a piece. <laughs> yeah. But this knight is quickly becoming an issue. I don't see how to extricate it. You got any ideas? Hmm. Okay, I'm turning the bar off. I don't know why it's so slow. Maybe I turn it back on or will Nope, of course it won't. Uh, I don't know. Like, you know, I don't know how many more, like, pawns you want to move in front of your, uh, king. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck sake. Get another one. Yep. <laughs> How did that name even get through, like, when Twitch allowed usernames to be made? Well, uh, I guess the buddy should know we don't care. We ban more, you ban more people than you can count, that's for sure. And I'm oh, happy, yeah. happy to be clicking buttons. <laughs> it's got, uh, sure. got some stuff to talk about. But he's a weirdo. <laughs> Got some interesting oh, people on Twitch. Some very interesting people. We can finally develop our B1 knight. Because of our knight on D3. It's shielding the pawn. Oh, yeah. I've only go. just realized this. I'm so happy. Finally move this. Yeah, because Kunt's Good pick up elephant, though. <laughs> Real, uh... Yeah, there we go. He's uh, answered the question. He's made a very interesting. Uh... Yes, he got past the auto detect with that one. F5. I mean, yeah. I didn't see what else you did to defend the knight, honestly. Because yeah. Bishop F3 was so annoying. I'm curious if. Okay, so knight C3. So that apparently allows this. Then we would have this. Hmm. Very quick reply from Chief. Yeah, there's this though. Uh, I see why this is bad, because if we take, and then you take, take a check. Okay, so maybe we're threatening to win a pawn here if you develop right away. I like it, I like it. 
Mm-hmm. So Knight C3 still isn't playable. Okay, Bar, you really gotta gotta get with the program. Gotta get with the move that we're at. Okay. Starting to get some moves played quickly here. How if we have only have Knight C3? Yep. There was one I think just came yeah then. Knight D seven. That does make sense, because you couldn't go to C three. And you wanted to stop Eric from going back to uh, E5. Uh, F4 is definitely a consideration here. Yeah, that's what I was... What I was thinking. For to really fight for this square. Because this square is semi-weak. But you have a knight to take. You want to hop your knight in here. And... Gonna take a couple moves to go into this one. Yeah, you gotta try something. Hello to Randy Freak. Thank you for the raid, buddy. Ooh, very nice. How was uh, how was your stream? We're currently uh, chilling, commentating Eric's Olympiad games versus Andrew Green. Okay. I was going to say, did I spell that right or not? But it was a little bit uh, slacking. He was. Ooh, a Call of Duty Vanguard Shimmer. Interesting, interesting. First time message as well. Welcome in. What uh, made you decide to come check out the chess bras? It is uh, a great place to be. Eric oh, yeah. and Amon are uh, the main two guys, but I am uh, Gory Hole. This is Buddy Ice. Uh, Iceberger, oh, finish it, and we're, we're commentating. Bit of fun. Oh yeah, it is quite a ride. Ah, YouTube, bro. Oh yeah, we love to see the YouTube uh, frogs. Oh yeah, I do believe that's what they're called. <laughs> Just differently. I have two pieces for our rook. I'd take that. Just answering Tyler. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. For two pieces for the rook is good for the side who has two pieces. And we, we are getting two pawns, so it does have to be a little considered. But, I don't know. Not a fan. Not a fan. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. But I think it's a matter of, like, I think it would be alright if we could somehow get our E board a bit more. Maybe then it would be better to get those two pawns off and the rook for the two pieces. Yeah, we'd have to have our pawns be rolling. Yeah. Because this bishop is so strong, this rook hasn't moved yet. It's like, okay, we're, it is two, fish, uh, two pawns as well as a rook, but it's... A Fianchetto Bishop. Hmm. Definitely don't want to be trading it off lightly. Hello to do it for the ads and chess, dude guy. We are, uh, we're chilling. It's a nice early Friday morning. Eric's got some holes to poke and prod in the position. This pawn, for example, is backwards. It is. The Europeans are up. Up and uh, being low T, not in the chat. Yes, yes. It's okay, though. The Americans are uh, we're quickly storming in. I was checking uh, the general banter. Aman saying that Magnus is playing his line in the London in his game. Could be worth having a little uh, peek at Magnus's game. Yep, allowing the recapture. I've seen Amon play this a lot. G3. Castles, King G2.
Okay, maybe never King G2. I lied. Would you like to join in the Ubanks? <laughs> Ubang. Let me tell it here, Four rows. Yeah. Do you not have tab autocomplete? Um. No. No, not tab autocomplete. I do not. Tab autocomplete's great. So, like, you know, if I were to at you with, um, like, if I didn't do the at sign, I could type the iceberger and still hit tab, and it would at you. Okay. But, and, um, with, ad, with like, tab autocomplete, if I have someone's name is, like, begins with S-A-D and I hit tab, it will come up to Sag instead. So, I'd have to do at S-A-D to have it be, like, not Sag. Okay. It is a uh, 7T or a B, it's either 7T TV or BTTV. It's one of those that has it. Hello to Eddie. How you doing? Good morning, Mr. Eddie Barber. The BTTV one. Okay. I do believe Buddy Emad has uh, the record. Don't exactly remember. <laughs> Yeah, two points out of uh, out of five. Yep, Slamma. I uh, got to start them with a the little bit, though. You know, I got to explain it first. Like, if I do Keck, I can go through all the Kecks. Well, this is his sixth game now, Neil. He didn't play round one. So he's only played five games at the moment. Thank you to JC Digital Girl for the five gifted subs. Thank you, buddy. Go oh, JCD. Thank you. This was uh, Magnus's game. Let's go back to Eric's. Where after knight d7, Eric is thinking. His opponent is 27 minutes left. Hello, Jackster. How you doing, buddy? Thank you, Elefante. I, I will. <clears throat> Classical games are very fun to commentate. But uh, the hands, the hands can just wander. <laughs> uh, it's not knockout, I think. No, it's just round robin. Yeah, it might eventually get to a knockout phase, but not yet. I don't think so. I think after the eleven rounds, they have. There's like whoever I guess has the most uh, points, and then there's a heap of different tie breaks to uh, break it up as well. We did get bishop f3, asking the knight what it's doing. And that is why we saw f5 last week, by the way. Because of how annoying bishop f3 is. It's probably here. Just go back. I mean, because if you defend, I'm taking it. If you go here... I'm taking it, and then... I guess my knight is here, so I don't have queen c6. I would have takes, and then queen c6. Which I think the same tactic works. But if you go here, I can take... Take... I don't know, you can defend like this, damn it. Hmm. Eh, that's not it. If you have a check and I kind of have to take it, not a check, but a forcing. Yeah. That can't be it, though. Oh, I'm guessing, um, do they take on queen, like, do they take queen e2 first, maybe? Ah, mm. uh, yes. Mm. Oh, no, that's not in time that brings it back. Nope, it's not this idea. Let's see. 
Eddie might be here, let's see. Eddie reckons F4. F4 is good? Does look good. Yes. We'll go with F4. I... Because if you... Yeah, damage in the pawns and hitting the bishop. Okay, well, it's good. It's interesting to see because there was another line where we had queen c6, I think. Yes, it was on a different line where he defended with queen e8. Yeah. It was before we had played knight c3, though. And before f5. So it was like here. If we had played bishop f3, we had this idea if he pointed. Maybe I'm just fucking full of it, I don't know. I feel like maybe I killed the move instead of this to show that this is a problem. Yeah, probably. Yes, this is the yeah, one I, I showed earlier. I'm really good at finding ways to lose. Yep. I have a good knack for that as well. We're not the only ones Sun. for that. Hello, Shadow Blue Jay. Hello, using their Shadow prime sub. Welcome. Go primers. I see that uh, Tyler, you have a prime buddy. I can guarantee uh, watching habits and subbing on prime, you will uh, you will gain elo. You will break that twenty one hundred. Hundred percent. So as soon as there's two moves, you can either what maybe like bring the knight back to f6, or maybe f4 is a possibility. Let's calculate f4. Because this looks very fun. Okay. So if I take the knight, you're going to take my bishop. I don't like that, because then my pawn structure becomes all shite. Yep. If I take, you'll take with the knight, because I don't like that. If I take with the knight, you'll take with the knight. And then if I recapture, you're gonna fuck up my pawn structure. So wow, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know if we take with the knight, but then they take with theirs. Obviously, we don't want to keep recapturing. Yeah, so you have to take with the pawn here. What? What? Mm. Don't see a way to threaten mate or any checks. We a four. Do you see what we're threatening? <laughs> no, I'm struggling at the moment. I don't know, I should have taken my extra vitamins. We can stop calculating uh, a line we hopefully won't go down. Maybe, I don't know, I was thinking in that, like, that A4 spot, and if the bishop was to move, like, would have been like a knight B5. Just wondering, yeah, because especially with the rook on the open floor. Wow, this, yeah, no, this is, because you have to stay on this diagonal, or else we'll put a rook here. That's very annoying. Where do you go with the bishop, actually? Because if you go there, do I have some? This is a funny position. Yeah, I think if the bishop moves, then we just take on a. Uh, we would take. Bishop takes a. Four. Yeah, because we always have just. Our knight hopping in is really annoying. Yeah. Like, even if you take here, this is still. 
Cork. Because yeah, you knight C knight C seven we're threatening E six as well. Yeah, you've got it. Yeah. Knight F six. He wasn't uh he wasn't playing games with any of the F four lines. Where do we go knight F four? Hmm? Like do we go knight F four now, um threaten E six? Like, so now that they've moved their knight to f6... I know, I'm, go I'm thinking four. about it. I think so. You know, you know, here, knight f5, knight f4. It's a very strong piece. We have pressure on the backwards pawn. We really... are threatening to sack now. Like, let's say you defend this pawn with your queen. No, you didn't. Eh, I guess the knight's here. I can see a future where if this knight ever moves, this pawn's undefended. Then we can take here with the bishop. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get the bishop to... Then he recaptures with the knight. The nice thing about this is we're always threatening it, though. So these pieces, he can never jump a knight into... Actually, I guess he can, just in case. God. Chess is annoying when they're always fighting against you. <laughs> How dare they play good moves. I know. Why can't they just uh, bend over and let me checkmate them? <laughs> <laughs> Hello to Desi Games. How you doing, buddy? Knight f4 does seem pretty good. This bishop, though, is kind of a funky piece. If you go knight f4. It's not... Like, you can't win it. And I don't think you can even have time for this move. Like, if I go knight f4, you can't go. This is the tactic I was talking about. Well, one, we're mm. hanging this. So, pretended you defended it. Then we wasted a move. You went back. Then went here. I said it wouldn't work if you defended it. Yeah. I hate chess. I uh, just want tactics to work out. I don't want to play positionally. <laughs> Completely agree. You guys can uh, tell what type of player we are. Attacking, aggressive, and want to check me. Go attacks. Go. A quick game's a good game. Yes, it is. I completely agree with that. The faster I can win a game, the better I played. <laughs> exactly. Unfortunately, classic is an. Uh, isn't the same. But yeah, I have AirPods right in front of me. Uh, I don't want to wear them. We did get your move, Knight F4. Yeah. Eric is uh, following after you, buddy. Oh, yeah. I have to refresh every time we do analyzing because the board's broken. I might, um, hit the bar off. <laughs> Okay, so how are you gonna defend? Uh, how are you gonna defend this pawn e6? Um, it's probably a few ways. You need a queen or rook is probably the easiest uh, one to pick from either rook e8 or queen e8. Yeah, because if you go to e7 with your queen, maybe you're preparing to double, but it's kind of hard to. Maybe you go to e7 to prepare to double and then push. But uh, do. e8 does seem more logical as well, as you're protecting the pawn, because because you also don't want to push with the structure. It's another thing. Yes, I could make uh, this entire thing black. It's a very good point. Invisible the cable. <laughs> <laughs> I have used a black sharpie on my mic to uh, hide like dents and stuff. It works really well. Yep. Like if uh, some black chain picks, or just like any paint, just get the sharpie of that color. Little problem's not there anymore. <laughs> Very nice. Excuse me.
This bishop is such a funny, uh, funny piece on a6. Yeah, it could always be, like, forced to move with, like, a queen a4 or something like that. Exactly. But I guess the question is, is it better on b7, or is it worse on a6? Oh, Arguably, I would argue it's worse. I mean, it seems like it's going to be pawn to be moved anytime soon. Yeah. At least the spawn is overprotected for now, so we never have to worry about pressure on it. Yeah. But it doesn't have much scope. Because if it ever goes here, well, maybe we can think about b3, although it weakens some dark squares. Because then it would really have no scope when we set to go back. Mm. Actually, if it goes... Sorry, if it goes here, we can lay a trap with, like, queen a4 threaten b3 to win it outright although yep. then you have eh, we want a pawn go tje how you doing buddy we are hoping eric gets a win here a nice slow positional squeeze for our boy i uh we will see what white does or real black does soon Seeing you, Matt. Like Thanks well for uh, chest or comma looking more accurate, which is good. Thanks for joining us. That is good. Yeah, I've got I've got lead chess open just as a backup in a browser to just to double check so the clocks are matching on both web. Good to hear. Good so to it's hear. good to be up on the clock. Yes, it is. <laughs> While we are uh, waiting for a move, do you want to check in on Buddy Jordan's game? Yeah, we'll do the rounds. Jordan seems to be playing an endgame. He's white. Let's see where we left off here. Queen B1. And B4. And Queen B3. <laughs> I, I can't commentate any of these moves. Look how this game started. Yeah, I'm going to move my bishop. Not once. Not twice. But three times out of the opening. And then Jordan was like, okay, you can do that. I can do one better. Once. Twice. Well, I'm going to sack the exchange and still accept the end game. I mean, these pawns are doubled, so he's playing against them yeah. for the long term. This pawn is weak. He has some pressure here once this rook is moved. Although, you don't really want to take and get the triplets. Will not be good. Need to get in bed. The uh, the airplane made me uh, tight. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does that. Some of those uh, seats on there for sure. Oh, yeah. Eh. And there's a future where you can't take everything. So Black's going to solve some of his problems. He's probably yeah. going to unpin himself. Did, um, did Wesley's opponent play on? Let's see. He did. No, that's not the rest of the game. He did. He played knight uh, f8. And Wesley played rook over. f5. Knight takes, because you can play whatever you want in this position. Yep. And... Well, let's give a refresh bar. I think plus 5. Let's see. Is it going to work? No, this game is uh, too complex for it. <laughs> <laughs> white is completely crushing here oh yeah rook uh, f7 putting oh, Jesus. this is clean I know Kanan it's been pretty uh, trying to work with it but it's just not helping mm. let's see I can clear my browser down let us move that'll help ah is that gonna fix it no is it everyone or is it just me no my window it's been a bit yeah not like loading as well okay how you doing uh more park everyone it seems like okay at least it's not just me that brings a bit of uh it's no force mate yet but i mean 
I'm coming to say hi. Yeah, pieces are coming. Yes, they are. Cerberus, you last night, too? Ah. Uh, it's a big event. We got a lot of games on, but, uh, but mm. still. Yeah, that position is very scary. For, uh... Buddy, uh... Harant. I'm not gonna try, yeah. I'm not try, try my first name. And let's check out Tari's, uh, Caro. Tari is black here. Okay, so we left off around here. Mobilize, work against the bishop. Activate the rook. Okay, see so what I do. Hmm. Yes, yes. Maybe uh, could be you, a maybe a little park apricot. You also could have a lower. Uh, I forget what it is. The setting says a quality thing. Yeah. I wonder if we're threatening anything. This knight's really annoying defending that I can't sack. I know we're threatening this fork. I mean, after he defends it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything concrete yet. It's probably just a little bit of a... Pressure. Forcing the pieces around. Yeah, a bit of pressure. Yeah. As, uh... I think there's a David Bowie song where he just shouts pressure a lot. It's a good song. <laughs> Black's, uh, he has to deal with some pressure. There's the, uh, the Queen's pressure. We got a bit I of think... a disconnect. Um, I think it was the one with, um, the one by Queen. And it, I think it's definitely Freddie Mercury singing it. He goes, like, under pressure or something like that. Yep, under pressure. Yeah. Wonder if I was in that. Mm -mm. Oh, my dog's waking up. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Um, Kados, uh, Australia, playing Iran. Mistake. I think I think they're playing Iran. The uh, the Aussies. How are they doing in the the tournament overall? Good. They're in. Uh, let me have a look. Where their standings are. They're in 21st place at the moment. That's pretty good though. How many um, countries are there overall? Sorry, you have to go back. Well, how many countries overall? Uh, 188. Like 188 teams, so there'd be a... There'd be 186 countries. Um, because of... India having two extra teams. Yep. That's still pretty good, though. So, yeah, being 21st place is very solid after uh, yep, yep. six rounds. That is very solid. And um, as you guys have that one, you have Anton something, right? Smirnov? Yeah, Anton Smirnov is our 2600 uh, Grandmaster. That probably helps having him on board one. Yes, definitely. It's good as well to have a full team of grandmasters. They're all above, um, <clears throat> all above twenty five hundred. So it's pretty helpful. A sturdy team of lads. Oh yeah. I feel like we talked about this whole thing. We haven't mentioned the Mar the, the Bermuda party once. Do you know much about that? I mean, this is my first Olympiad. Same, same here. So I'm not sure what this uh, tradition is of it, or if it was um, or if it was just like this particular uh, place. It's uh, but... definitely it's an old one. It's been around for a while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he has some knows a ton about it. 
It's um, been around since I think 2006. Um, apparently, Lev uh, punched Chicky, and so we got some uh, <laughs> popularity at the at the was a wild party. Oh and yeah. Everyone had to go for uh, each year after that. <laughs> oh yeah, well, I mean Hikaru just seems to have a way to get himself into fights by the sounds of it. There's also the infamous uh, yes, yes. St. Louis uh, party. Ooh, Bishop takes knight. Interesting, allowing Eric to have the bishop pair. Yeah, I mean, X-Clan bishop pair. Like... Oh, yeah. Is it that? Fuck. You know probably better than I do. Um, Maybe... Someone knows that now's the time to do it. So, bishops, yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, look at the light square bishop's counterpart at the moment. What scope does this have? Why are my arrows so bad today? Okay, I can go this way, but I can't go down. I mean, I assume bishop takes his... Zebra auto. Yes. Maybe Definitely he... automatic. Maybe he Still wants in. knight g5, but I mean, this feels like he's not threatening much. You bring your knights over, go for an attack miss, or just like take. Oh, and we're definitely threatening to take here now. Maybe a uh, chief has taken inspira uh, inspiration from Kramnik after he flagged. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he was like, like, me, you know, I'm an old man, I have to... I flagged. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I'm uh, I'm joking, but... <laughs> it is it is nice to see chief uh, mirroring the greats. Taking some inspiration from uh, world yeah. champion. Because he was definitely doing a lot of prep for this. He was doing the RCCs, the global world event that chess.com has. Yeah, so he was taking um, this seriously. Yeah, definitely earlier this year he had the um, Meltwater Classics or whatever they are, like the uh, Invitational. Yeah. He's had a couple of those this year. I feel like it started in February... And there might have been one in spring. Yep. So I think a quick uh, a quick refresh. And I think he has recap bishop. Yes, he has yeah. recaptured. And the bar is working. Yay. Look out. Yeah. The Evo bar is on the prowl. And he gained 10 minutes. Yes. All <laughs> is good. All is good Thank in our... <laughs> yes. All is good in the chess bra camp. Interesting. B5. Man, that bishop is awful. It does stop queen a4, but it, yeah, the bishop is... Uh, Man, what is this bishop? What is it doing? Glorified pawn at the moment. I guess you want to go b4, maybe? And kick the knight? Hello to Wooly Ewok. Hello, Wooly. And hello, Armin. And, uh, yeah, we're definitely, we're looking good. We're building We have been edge. doing the rounds, Armin, on a few other uh, chess bras. Yeah. And on a couple of uh, we chat had, requested games. We had to look at the so game. Yeah. Rook takes, Rook takes pawn, Queen takes F2. For those who haven't seen. Okay, the bar is back. Yay. Wesley baited his opponent into playing e4. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, b5 is very bad. I do agree, Moj. Take your queen takes. It's just crazy. And then you hunt the king. A fabulous king hunt. Two bishops and a rook. That's all you need. 
But, uh, of course that didn't happen. And Wesley is just converting. A crushing position. Yeah, b5, this bishop is... It's like you have triple pawns now. Not even, because this pawn doesn't defend this. I wonder if you play b4 to just, like, permanently lock this bishop. What do you think? Yeah, it seems like an okay move. Will we do we do we have a four? I don't know. My uh, I don't have a bar again. Do we have a four? If you have it, I'll uh, I'll take your word for it. I think we. Well, I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, so sure that's if we true. Have it on the board yet or not. B four does weaken that square. Well, yes, we do have that on the board. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is interesting. You're also giving him uh, the ability to kick your knight. I guess you do control this file. I think if you, we would just hop into to b5 if he did push b4. I don't know. I don't want to let him get rid of that bishop by any means. He's made his bed. He's going to have to sleep with it. I'm <laughs> letting this bishop live until the end of time. Because I mean, he's put all his pawns on light squares. I guess if I'm not going there, where am I going, though? Yeah, exactly. Oh, it was Gormali. Yasser said it was a car. Maybe he misspoke. One of the basic laws, never attack an Armenian. <laughs> <laughs> that is a uh, funny way to put it, especially from a chess-based article. Mm. But I mean, didn't they start out as a magazine? You're yeah, not sure how they started. Because I remember, I think they did. Maybe uh, some old heads in chat can uh, yeah. confirm where um, Tyler, there's no need for them to take A5. Uh, they could push uh, B4. Or protect. Or they could maybe yeah, protect it, Rook B8, Queen B6. Yeah, Eric's got a lot of time in this position. He's got 40 minutes-ish. We don't even, I don't even think this clock is totally accurate. Because you had a... That is true. Um... <laughs> yeah, so on, on the other website, it's showing it's 11 seconds to 11 minutes, 35 seconds. Showing 11 seconds total? No, no, sorry. So 39 minutes, 11 seconds uh. for Eric. <laughs> and 11 minutes, 24 for Andrew. So we are building a considerable, some pressure on the time. They should all wear uh, Bermuda shorts at the Bermuda party. That'd be very funny. How do you think you pronounce uh, Anton's last name there? The Valyov, maybe? Um, uh, maybe not. I don't know, maybe. Okay, now now I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of liking a Kavalyov. I don't know. I'm liking Kval it too. Kaval. Mm. Well, yeah, I agree with you. Maybe it's Volv and you don't pronounce the Y. Yeah, like, or Ko yeah, Kovalov or something. Yeah, maybe. Exactly, time pressure and building up the bar. We will yes. uh, hit the bar with a refresh, though, because... No, no, apparently it's just building up the bar. Love to see Very it. Very good position, I think, here. Yes, we are very happy with uh, our positional edge, especially because, I mean, it's a bishop. 
What is it doing? Like we are forcing um a lot of Black's pieces to be on a defensive duty rather than Andrew would definitely prefer if they were doing something defensive, a bit more offense, but uh they're stuck babysitting at the moment, holding the uh the position together. Yeah, I kind of said while we were talking, because I wasn't as focused on the position, maybe you just defend the pawn. It's you have only one move to defend the pawn, that I can see anyway. <laughs> and I don't want to play this move. <laughs> yeah. So taking or pushing looks kind of forced. Taking, he takes with Eric takes with the rook. And I like that for us. If he pushes. That pawn's going to be a we instant weakness. I mean, even if they defend it, couldn't we just... Is a, we could just play a whole lot of trades? If they go queen Actually. b6, you mean? Yeah, and then all the takes, 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 takes. On that, uh... On b5, yeah. So it all gets traded down, and then maybe queen c6 at the end of it. I don't know. I really don't want him to play an end game. I don't want to. I don't want to analyze that. <laughs> I feel like if we I'm analyze it, it that, might that be played. E, that e6 pawn looks very uh, tender. Yeah, I really don't want to analyze an end game. Let's hope he doesn't play one. <laughs> okay, we got some moves. Oh well. Wow. Oh, well, okay, we had some moves. G with. He took. Queen took. Bishop went back. Knight came into b5. Knight came into b6 to hit the queen. And now it is Black's turn. Love that from a chest up. I'm just throwing it with all the moves at once. Yes. Knight here is a serious threat. We have uh, the because if the rook moves, we take. We have this is just hit because the queen's cut off and this is hit we well X even there. if um even i was thinking if you want to defend c c7 you could play rook f7 but then knight d6 is still very much possible can't i i can still play this though because my bishop so if you take it yeah they both look all right yeah and i can take here then take here which is very nice liking what I'm seeing uh, from the chief here. Yes, yes. I do have to agree. Yeah, I don't know if the bar is accurate or not. <laughs> I just refreshed, so I like I have to assume so. But I also would not give this position maybe well, I don't know, I wouldn't say this plus six. <laughs> Say I'm better, but. Mmm. Oh, apparently. Apparently it is just plus six. Nice. Very nice. I guess this whole. I mean, this idea does look so crushing. Because I don't see how you defend my knight getting in there. I'm gonna take here with my rook. My queen's gonna hit these two pieces. And I don't, I don't really see how you defend that. That is true. Hello, Raham. How you doing, buddy? Go, Rohan. Thank you for the 17 months. We really gotta do more shopping of your, uh, of your shoey. We gotta, we gotta push it. Oh, yeah. We say it once, like... We've only had 18 subs today. Yes, because we say it, we said it once, like, two hours ago. <sighs> I think there will be there should be some support coming in for uh, when Eric rightfully gets the win. Yes, we'll uh, we'll hold embrace, but we're feeling it. Oh yeah. Hello to Wooly. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
But Decky, look like Desi, look what you got. Well, look what you got out of it. You got some delicious meals that get delivered to you. You don't even have to cook them. They're all prepared. Just got to heat. Up. So the, the promo code isn't even active anymore. But like, I came back from being in San Diego for the weekend, and my mom was like, "Oh yeah, I had one of the factory meals. I liked it. Very nice." It's what we like to hear. Hopefully, uh, Dr. Lord Mayo can wake up one day. He seems like too high tea of a man, though. A5? Ooh. I mean, that's, that's, that's just, a, a that's free a pawn. That's a screaming bluff to me. That's a free pawn. What does he want? For ticks. I uh, know, Kados. This is a. Uh, this is what I drink. I think I was showing the logo to the. To the camera. Yeah. And we're just up a pawn when we have the bishops. Maybe that's why it's such a high eval because we have the bishops. I, I think so. King pawn. And this knight's pretty silly. We can't go there. Actually, where do you go with this knight? If you go here, I have this. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Oof. I mean, this, this I is all I do not want to be Andrew right now. Yeah, this this uh, knight just hangs if you go to c4. It's very clear. Noted. So you can't go here, which is very annoying. Eric has taken the pawn. Well, if you can't take take and go knight c4, I don't know what your plans are. Yeah. No, but Willy, we're winning a piece in that queen trade. We take that. They're on move 23, so there's still a lot of time for Buddy to not be under time pressure. But we are now up a clean pawn. Clean pawn. Maybe knight c4 right away, but then still b3. I don't know, probably different. We can hope for the collapse. The collapse is definitely uh, incoming. I would, I would think. Yeah, Bishop C seven is a threat. Okay, so Queen takes Rook. Herp de der. And then yeah, I think we can uh, guess that one. You have to move this knight because this is coming in. Don't like any of the squares you move it to. You hear all this fake and put a rook here. Here is just like, what's your knight doing on a8, buddy? Um, mm. Here. Here. We're doing here's and here's, sorry. So knight a5, b3, knight b2, maybe right there. Is it just as simple as this? No, it's a square. No, it's just as simple as this to trap the knight. This knight's like getting trapped on the edge of the board. I can't figure out a way like either you can go forward and not get trapped. So you have to go back, which is yeah. really sad. Because after this... Oh, oh, I have my queen, sorry. After takes, <laughs> then this. Sorry, in my mind I'd already made this calculation. If you go back, I have the fork. Can't go here. So you have to go here, and then it's just as simple as this. 
Am I not strapped? Yes. So sorry. Sorry about chaining my queen. I was calculating this in my head and I'm a little tired. So it's a little sorry. hard. Yeah, it's so as I... Different. Like, he had to. It was the only like way he could yeah. save the night. It's really depressing, but... So we should get the queen trade here. Yes, I do expect queen trade. Bring the knight in. Very happy. Very yeah, happy. Probably even knight d6. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what you got. Yep. Very uh, brutal stuff coming up. Wanting eventually rook in. At least this knight's defending the c8, the c7 square. No, nope. you would you would have to think so, Tyler. I mean, I don't think so, honestly. It's only a pawn. I mean, his pieces are loopy, but you can always hope to consolidate. Goodbye, Willie. Hope you get big and strong. Yes. Yep, we have seen knight d6. I say I don't think we'll see a resign, because after this, I don't see a clear win just yet. If I am shown one, then yeah, I do expect to resign. But, um... Uh, I mean, clearly, this is winning. I mean, this looks pretty uh, brutal. Like, you got to protect the bishop, right? Like, either move it or... Um, yeah, protect it, but... I got you. Oh, I yeah, something's going to give. Well, I can win another pawn. Just because you have nowhere else to go. Okay, I stand corrected. I do expect to see a resign. <laughs> a resign. I wonder how many moves, though. You think before, you think under or over five? You want to, I'll go. I think between Ooh, five and ten. Um, five oh, and definitely ten under ten. I would, maybe, I would go as far as, hmm, s seven moves. I think. In the next seven, we should see a uh, resignation. We hope. We hope. Yeah. It just, it seems everything's collapsing. Because you even have back rank ideas in this position, which yeah. is pretty funny. Because of the knight on uh, d6 covering the one escape square. And... For those wondering, Eric's opponent is under 10 minutes, so we will get the moves quickly. That is a benefit to look forward to. Oh, yeah. Do you have uh, the accurate times just for everyone? Um, I think... I think it's a little bit higher at the moment. I think chess.com might be lagging a little, but a different website is showing. Six minutes for Andrew and just under 40 just under 40 minutes okay so we did get the line where I said you can win another pawn but Eric took yep. a more important pawn took the E pawn literally everything's collapsing Sean you are uh, seeing the finishing touches of the okay uh, and if you take here I take your free night And if you don't, I'm going to walk this pawn up into your face. Yep. We can um, quickly check in on the Van Forest game and the Tari game to give you guys our final take on it. Van Forest was white. We saw all this. Saw the exchange sack. Black is better. Although this pawn is kind of scary. It's it's coming. You have to find a way to protect this square. Although you can't bring a rook there. You know the bar says black is better. This is still a three result game. I can see this being a draw, this being a win. It's a very good question. I think probably knight d5, 
putting pressure on these pawns, also stopping the pawn. Apparently not. This one looks more forcing. I don't know, you can also always take here and they kind of have to take back because you're you can yeah. sack to clean. I don't exactly know. I suck at endgames. But this is, in my opinion, a three result game. Both sides are pushing their pawns and it's going to be a race of token queen first. King g2. I guess uh, king f7 is our answer. You run at it. And that does make sense. Because <laughs> if you ever push, I'll go here, preventing you from pushing again. And if not, I'll just go to uh, e7. Yep. Okay. And we did see a trade. So it looks like we're getting a lot of moves on a couple boards at once. Not Eric's, though. Back to the front. Yeah, still waiting um, by the looks of it. Yeah, let's check in on uh, Tari with the black pieces. I think we probably left off. We left off when he took this pawn and here. So we took Bishop back, the GM tuck, protecting this pawn. That's a free pawn. But he took the exchange smart. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, let's, we can look at this. It's kind of putting some pressure on. Threatening to win a pawn, no matter where. No. Well, yes, no matter what. So we had to block, trade, and we took this pawn. Bishop came in. Rook down, piling up here. Trading is forced. And... I don't know, maybe something simple. Or not. Mm. Got a couple options between the game plans I want to go for. If I want to build up pressure on the f2 pawn, or if I want to go bishop c6 to try to push. Or just bring in my queen. We got a couple moves in Eric's game. Eric's game, sorry. So after Eric took the pawn, got king up to attack the rook, rook over to put pressure on the knight, knight move to block the bishop. Is how is this guy not uh, not resigning? This looks uh, pretty brutal to play against. It definitely is. As I said, there was no clear win though, and if we see, and if Eric goes g4 to try to do this. G6 will probably be played. Takes, takes. And we're liquidating into a winning endgame. We're up two pawns. Yeah, the only thing we've got to worry about, though, instance, is um, we have to defend the D pawn here as well. That no, we could don't. be under. I don't know, maybe something like Bishop E5 looks. Uh, if you Looks take pretty the... simple enough. Oh yeah, that's true. It's, it's okay. Tied down. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been commentating for three hours. Yeah. Mental fatigue is a big thing in chess. I uh, I've definitely dealt with it during one of like during my blitz grinds. I just get worse as I keep playing. Yeah, no, it definitely happens. I'm proud, though, I was able to calculate the fact that the knight gets trapped if it goes forward. And I was proven, because the knight went backwards. <laughs> yes. And, uh, I had some nice calculation while I was waiting for uh, my flight at the airport, just playing some rapid. You know, exercising nice. the brain, you got some time for it. Exactly, you need, uh, you need the stamina for these classical games. Yeah, they're so long though. Oh, I can imagine so, Sean. Jeez, some stuff going on out there. Ah, it's okay if you wanna. 
I'll be ready on the on the mute button if it's too much. <laughs> yep. I got no problem. It's easy. Uh, it's easy pickings from here on out. I wonder if Eric chooses a slow roll to conversion, or to look for a tactical finish. I think he'll. Uh, I think he'll take the slow roll. I reckon they just keep improving his position bit by bit and yeah. really uh, put the vice on Andrew. Yep. Oh, I have a buddy joining me. My, uh, my dog came to say hi. Oh, nice. Yeah, I do think he's going to take the positional approach. Let's, uh, let's see if I can get him on the chair. I doubt it after uh, the last couple of times. You want to come up? Oh, I guess you want to come up. Boy, that's my hand you're sitting on. We have uh, another appearance of the dog. Hi, buddy. I think uh, when we do get moves, we're going to get a lot of them. Yeah, definitely. Hello, Jaw. 928. And hello, Eddie. Hey, doing, buddy? Oh, you good boy. Oh, he's looking at you, Aiden. <laughs> Look here. Who's that, puppy? Who's that? It's funny though, because I have uh, the Discord call up, so I can just see you. So I'm not just like talking to myself. And he's definitely looking at you. Yep. No, they. I don't think they're watching the the footy, uh, Moor Park, and they definitely wouldn't be cheering. That's for. Sure. Is your team losing, buddy? No, no, no. The different teams playing uh, tonight. Different teams playing, and it's a team that's a rival to my team that I support. So. Okay. My my family wouldn't be cheering, uh, for this result. That's for sure. So we did get. Oh, I go for I go for Richmond, Kados. Go Richmond. The the doggies, right? Or am I completely wrong? The tigers. The tigers. The loaves goes for the dogs. So I heard the dogs. So at least I know a couple teams. There are a couple, yeah. We did get G four, expecting G six. It's only option that doesn't hang a night, or two. <laughs> Hello, bagels for Bre Bre Brecky. Yep, I have. Uh, Hello. Sold out my camera position to my dog. He has no idea what's going on. He just knows he's getting pets. Yes. Not sure what Aman's up to, but he's around. He's been. I've uh, seen Aman was in the Discord reacting to um, reacting to Wesley's uh, great tactic. Oh yeah, that's filth. This is a, a Springer Spaniel for a little limpet. What's this puppy? He's a curious little buddy. <laughs> I think he's a little confused why he's uh, been in the chair for so long. <laughs> yep, it's a Springer. So, uh, is Buddy's time accurate? Is he really under two minutes? I don't... I mean, G6 is kind of just forced. Doesn't really... Not it much. looks like it is, yeah. I mean, what else are you going to do? Move your knight to F6 and lose the other one? You have no other moves. Yeah, poor Andrew. I do agree. He should just get out of this position while he still can. Yeah. Yeah, it's showing that he's uh, he's about to hit a minute. Yeah, that is that is rough. Time pressure is always kind of the worst thing to play against. Yeah, yeah. so I don't know. If, so I think both like both of these sites should be okay, but. Uh... Oh, do you want to sit in my chair now? Do you?
30 seconds on the Olympiad side. Yeah, who's your good doggo? Oh, we got a little yawn for the camera. <clears throat> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. I'm not doing a countdown. <laughs> Three, two, one. And he may be flagged. Who knows? Could be flagged. Hi, right, buddy. Do you want to give me a kiss? I don't want to kiss you. Yeah, the two bishops are very scary. Exactly, Kane. And I just flagged, you know, the better player, you know. You played a bit too quick for me. The Neil approach. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Did Hammer flag? Oh, or that was he... uh, against, yeah. Was when it... was that? Was that yesterday? Yeah, the last round, I think, when Norway was playing Australia. Might have to look that up on my own time. Every sub Sunday, exactly. No, the dog's name is Pride because uh, my ex hometown, ex hometown, like I don't live there anymore. It's uh, our town's name was like our high school town team was the Blue Wave Pride, and his mother's name was Blue and his father's name was Wave, so he's Pride. And that was like nice. a, it was like three states away that that happened, so it was really funny. Yep. So, um... I would not be surprised if this is actually, uh, he did flag. That, or he might have resigned and they didn't move the kings on the board. Yeah. Because, I mean, this position is no time. Yeah, I do, I do think he probably resigned. Hello, Lolly. Hello, buddy. Whilst we wait, I'm just checking out the footy, there's... It's a very close game. There's only a one goal in it and about four minutes left. Ready to go now? That is, uh, that is exciting. I'm going to assume that this is the game. Do you want to go down? I go think down. so. Yeah. Go on. It's okay, buddy. I'll, t I'll commandeer my chair back. A dub. Yes. Eric. A big dub. I uh, have to assume, assume that Canada is going to do well off the back of his dub. Let's check in on uh, Nikolai's game quickly. Okay. Well, could even um, Wesley looks like he's had some uh, more continuation. Still a draw in uh, Nikolai's game, which is good. Tari has officially won his game with just stampeding on the king side. So uh, the bras are feasting. Wesley So is feasting. And we're gonna wait until we get official confirmation. But you can uh, get three brilliancies and six moves. Holy shit. Yeah. You can release. We do we do think it's over. Go Wesley. Yeah. You can uh, you can spam the KOs. Unfortunately I do not have a button. <laughs> but uh we can type them oh yeah a couple people have the Tari emote it's a, it's a bra one now right or a bits one it is a bits one yes pretty high up there by the looks of it definitely we gotta are... secure the, uh, the bra scam yep we are just uh, waiting on confirmation for the key O from uh, Buddy Eric's game, but we're looking forward to it. Oh, yes. A nice uh, 30 move stomp.
Oh yeah. I wonder if I was just looking at this line, if this is annoying. Yeah, this is probably why he resigned, because then you're gonna go here and here if you step this way. But a uh, nice KO. I uh, let me refresh again. Got no pairing, uh, no word on it. But you're saying his time has run out. That's what it, it seems like. Yeah. I don't. I promise. I don't want to end and then have the game continue. <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean. So I'd rather just we stick here for a bit. We can put on mag. We can put on Wesley's game. Watch the carnage that is that. And um, I'll remove the names. Do believe Eric won. Yep. Just, uh. Don't want to put all of our eggs in one basket yet, so to speak. Yeah, poor hand. I do have to agree. This position is. Bishop's cutting off the king. This is practically mate. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, this is definitely a zebra ooh moment. Yeah. So if you move your queen anywhere, okay, that's a bad move because that hangs it in two moves. I don't know where to go. If you go there, it's just. Eh, I think that will probably no. Too much interior. Yep. Maybe just. Huh. I want to do this, but. I do not know. Jordan's game has ended in a draw. Yeah, okay. Eric's game... Still going. Let's go back to that, yeah. So queen... Said here, 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 mean... And then h4. Yep. I was trying, I was gonna think of F4, but H4 looks cleaner. Yeah, yep, definitely. Yeah, both are just sitting on the face. We got some numbers from a pleb. Oof. Interesting. It's a first time numbers though, so let's, more numbers, yes. Maybe I can, I'll join in the numbers. <laughs> All of them uh, added chat. Jeez. Thank you, uh, Cannon. We do. Uh, we do try. I do have to expect Eric's game is over. Yeah. Okay. We okay. There it. we go. We have confirmation. We can release the chaos. Confirmed. Okay. Confirmed. We have confirmation. We have resignation. Well, uh, the draws did well today. Jordan secured oh, yeah. a draw versus a 2600. Tari won. Uh, Magnus officiated bra sometimes. And it does look like Canada is doing pretty well. Very good results. See if Roz. How's Rosvan doing? Rosvan is position is equalish. That's all we need. And I don't know if it's Simsokin or the other one. It's the other one. Uh, let me look for uh, Canada because it was posted in the Discord. I just can't test it. It's Raja. Yes, we got um. Yes, Raja Panwani. Thank you, Neil. 
and we're slightly better. Or no, we're slightly worse, but this is drawable. Down upon, drawable. This is kind of annoying though. Yeah. Okay, but all we need are draws. Not significantly though. We're not significantly worse than any of the boards. This is drawable, especially with our uh, mind, <laughs> especially with our counterplay. <laughs> yep. And these are also drawable. Oh, I know, Sean. Who wants good moves when you can have us doing okay moves? Yeah, exactly. But, um, with that, I'm done. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, same. Same here. Yep, sometimes different engines give different evals, Boss Maniac. Uh, don't know what we can do about it. We will, uh, be raiding chess.com. For, uh, all the raids they've sent us thank you guys all for joining us thank you for all the subs uh, very nice to have an Eric win and yeah. uh, hopefully Canada can win uh, can just draw out that's all we need thank you bagels thank you JC we uh, will sign off send the raid over and uh, see ya see you guys